What is the difference between memory and storage? Let's take the following scenario. I would like to bake some muffins. In order to do that, I need an oven to do the baking. I also need my pantry cupboard that contains all the items I've bought at the shop. I will take just the items that I need to make the muffins and I'll get only the amounts that I require. I don't need the whole bag of flour, I just need the amount of flour needed for the muffin mixture. And the same for the sugar and the milk etc. I will place this small amount of ingredients on my countertop which is right there next to my oven. This countertop is what I use to keep the ingredients I'm working with and to prepare all the mixtures. I'll mainly work between the countertop and the oven taking the ingredients and mixtures back and forth. When the muffins are baked I want to store them so that I can enjoy them later. So I'll put them in my pantry cupboard for safe storage. So let's talk about this countertop. You'll notice that the countertop is near to the oven which makes it more convenient to grab ingredients that I need instead of having to go to the pantry cupboard all the time. My countertop is also small in area compared to my cupboard so that's why I only bring the ingredients that I need for the muffins. I don't have space for anything else. And when the muffins are done, then I clear my countertop so that it's ready for the next thing I want to bake or cook. Now let's talk about the pantry cupboard. It's much further from the oven, so it takes longer to get the ingredients if I'm going to keep getting them from the cupboard. But my cupboard is quite large and it can store all the ingredients for any item that I ever want to bake or cook. Even when I'm done baking or cooking, there will still be extra ingredients in my cupboard. And that's the common scenario of how you would normally use an oven, a countertop and a cupboard in the kitchen. Now what does this have to do with computers Mr. Long? The oven is basically the same thing as a CPU. Just like your oven does all the actual baking and cooking, the CPU does all the processing. Now the pantry cupboard is the same as our storage. It keeps all the programs that you want on your computer like Word or Excel or even games as well as all the files that we work on. The countertop is what you would consider as memory. It has the programs and files that we are currently working on like playing a song. If you want to start working on a spreadsheet in Excel, the computer would get the Excel program from the pantry cupboard, I mean storage, and place it on the countertop, I mean memory. It will also fetch the file that I'm working on from storage and place that in memory too. The program and files will go back and forth between the CPU and memory while they are being worked on. When I click on that save button, the latest version of the spreadsheet will be placed in storage and that's how your computer works, very similar to how you work in the kitchen. So the pantry cupboard is basically the same as storage or hard drive. Storage is used to store and access programs and data on a long term basis. If we look at the properties of the pantry cupboard, you will now understand the properties of storage. Just like the pantry cupboard is further from the oven, hard drives are further from the CPU as they are connected by a cable to the motherboard. It also takes longer to access the data on a storage device compared to memory. Our cupboard was quite large, just like storage is large and measured in a large amounts of gigabytes or in terabytes. It stores all the programs and files that people have, even if they aren't working with them right now. And it keeps them there permanently. Storage devices work in many different ways depending on the device. Flash drives and SSDs work electronically, while hard drives work magnetically and CDs and DVDs make use of optical methods which is like a laser. They are cheaper per gigabyte compared to memory and they are non-volatile. In other words, when the power is gone, it still keeps its contents or remembers what was in storage. We also refer to it as secondary memory. The countertop is the same as memory or RAM. Memory is the temporary storage of programs and data that is currently being processed by the computer. And just like the countertop is next to your oven, memory and CPU are very close to each other on the motherboard, which helps makes the access times faster than storage. However, our countertops are quite small and memory is also small measured in a small amount of gigabytes. Only the programs and files that you are currently using are kept in memory and this type of memory is temporary. Memory works electronically and you get different types of memory like SRAM and DRAM. It's much more expensive per gigabyte compared to storage and it is volatile, meaning if you switch the computer off, then whatever is in memory will be lost. That's why it's important to save your work so that it can be placed in permanent storage. We sometimes refer to RAM as primary memory. Now if I want to improve my muffin production, we could get a bigger oven, but this could be quite expensive and difficult to do. And so it is better to get a bigger countertop so that we can prepare more mixtures and keep more ingredients close to the oven so that we're not wasting time fetching things from the cupboard. That's why on cooking shows, they cook so quickly because all their items and ingredients are right there ready and available on their large countertops. 
The same applies to computers. If you want to improve computer performance, getting a more powerful CPU is quite complicated. But a simpler solution is to increase the memory on your computer so that you can process more tasks and work on more files. Now what happens if I want to make a lot of muffins for a big party? I will need to increase my muffin and ingredient storage because I need more ingredients and more place to store the baked muffins. I can do this by getting more cupboard space and even a fridge in the computer if I want to increase the number of programs or files that I want to store, especially if they are larger files like multimedia files, video files, images or games, then I can get some more storage space like more hard drives or an SSD drive to store all of this information. To recap, memory is for data that is currently being used while storage stores everything. Memory's access times are faster than storage, but storage can store more information. Memory is temporary while storage is permanent. Memory works electronically while storage could be electronic or magnetic or optical. Memory is more expensive per gigabyte and it is volatile. And now that you know the difference in memory and storage, all this talk about muffins has made me hungry. So I think I'll go enjoy one now. We post a new video every Thursday at 3 for our Theory Thursdays. Go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And also follow us on TikTok. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.